Hey, hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Prashant Singh and you're watching Tech Head Today, today I'm going to unbox this uh, Zook Rocker Maestro headphone which I bought from Flipkart at 1400 rupees. And normally it's sold around 2000 rupees. Sometimes they spike it up to 2500. So let's watch the unboxing. This is the product box. And the way it was packed in the shipping box, there was a little opening on this side. That's why you see a lot of dust on this particular side basically and yes i've opened it earlier and repackaged to film the unboxing so you can see normal branding stuff on this side you can see features mentioned here's some features in details and specifications if you want to read it you can pause the video and read it let's open it by the way it was sealed at the time i got it then i opened it and resealed it of course inside you get this headphone of course an aux cable with inline mic which has a button on it a charging cable you also get a warranty card which has direction for registering the product online and you get this user manual with all the necessary details so first of all it doesn't have bluetooth 5.0 instead it has bluetooth uh, version 4.2 but there's very little difference bluetooth 5.0 is a bit more energy efficient than 4.0 and 5.0 also has slightly better latency then why did i buy this so I've used both versions and I hardly noticed any difference. Uh, it improves battery life by a few minutes, but getting like 12 and a half hours of battery life compared to 12 hours is not a very big improvement. Plus most headphones come with 300 to 400 mAh battery while this one comes with 500 mAh. So that that's dimness and to notice the difference in latency you have to use some kind of a speci specialized device of some sort because you can't notice anything in your ears it's that low now you may ask that there would have been uh, other options with bluetooth 5.0 why this one this with 4.2 because i wanted a headphone for video and sound editing which uh, should have balanced sound but almost all of the headphones that come in uh, this price range, especially below 2000 rupees, have bass heavy sound output. They are even advertised as, as uh, bass heavy headphones and mostly they are bad at higher frequencies and vocals and stuff, which is not very good for editing audio. Also, according to my requirement, I needed a good wired headphone, which has uh, Bluetooth functionality as like optional thing and on the uh, Amazon and Flipkart on my, I mean e-commerce website this headphone had uh, good buy ratings for its sound basically its balanced sound not because of its design or heavy bass basically for its balanced sound that's why I decided to try it out I rarely need wireless functions so one generation older Bluetooth version was not a big deal to me and I could trade that for great sound. It comes with this great aux cable which has gold plated jacks and inline mic. Also a button for control. Uh, by the way, I expected to get like normal aux cables which you get with cheap uh, Bluetooth headphones. But it was a pleasant surprise that they gave this aux cable. I'll give you a full review after thoroughly using it. But here's my re uh, experience with this headphone in first week. So sound was noticeably better than any headphone or earphone I've used under uh, 1500. I, I haven't used a lot of uh, over the head headphones uh, in this price range, but two are very noticeable and very popular ones. Uh, one is Kosan EG2000 gaming headphones, which I gave you unboxing and review. I give you, I'll give you the cards for that. And also very popular Boat Rockers 400 one, which I gave you the review for, I think, a week ago or less than a week ago so you can watch those videos too i'll link them in the cards and also in description but this headphone seems to have way better dynamic range for sound uh, than those uh, two headphones now let's talk about build quality a bit so overall build quality seems very good it has great cushioning on the ear cups and uh, the cushioning is covered with uh, this very soft and thick uh, synthetic synthetic leather normally the synthetic leather they used for to uh, cover the cushioning of headphones they are not very not not thick i'll say not strong so they come off easily this one seems very strong uh, more stronger than the boat rockers 400 one uh, or the cushion eg 2000 one but here's the thing headphone doesn't have any kind of cushioning uh, instead it has this velvet finished i think it's what seems like uh, hard rubber which is coated with something on the outside here on this side and uh, this is plastic by the way but on at inner side it seems like uh, rubber coated with something that's giving it velvet touch uh, very soft finish it has metal hinges to do this which i like a lot 
and I basically I like its metal hinges and buttons because buttons are big and clicky and I like mechanical clicky stuff a lot that's why I liked metal hinges and also the buttons and it's a personal choice it's a personal preference I know a lot of people like completely silent stuff but I don't I like mechanical stuff mechanical feeling and the click tick click as you can see there are four buttons one and three here so this red one is for power on and off and these are three multifunctional buttons uh, this one for volume up and next track click it once for the volume increase and keep it pressed for a few seconds to go on next track the last one is uh, works in same way for the volume down and last track while this middle one is for uh, pause play or to receive and end the calls okay let's talk about some cons now here are a few downsides i found in first week in this headphone so as you can see these cuts these are design choices i know this this looks good but it also gives a lot of space for dust together and it's very hard almost impossible to clear that dust when, once it's settled in it and another problem is probably related to this specific piece i got so you see these plates on the both sides with uh, branding zook as you can see on both sides so this one is now this one is fine this right side one is fine but left side one popped up a little bit uh, after few days of use i think three four days i don't know at some point uh, it seems like there was some kind of a hook mechanism to hold it in the place to keep it in the place because when i'm pushing it down it's sticking up for like split second and then then popping up again and i'll contact the customer care about it and i'll tell them that what happened let, let's see what their response is and i'll tell you in the review videos how they responded and if they did nothing did it hold up and remained like this or got worse so that was it that was the unboxing and first look video and i'll give you the link in description if you want to check it out you can go there and check it out yourself or you can buy it if you want so this was the unboxing and first look of zook rockers maestro and if you like this video you can press the like button if you disliked it you can also press the dislike button but of course if you dislike it uh, tell me in the comment section what you disliked about this video and if you didn't subscribe this channel yet please go and subscribe the channel and uh, press the bell icon of course so you can get the upcoming videos and i hope we'll meet in next video and also there are two videos on the screen if you want to watch more videos you can watch one of them or you can go to the channel and watch other videos so i hope we'll meet in next video till then best of luck